off its video that I promised. Everyone is outside filming their spring lookbooks with this beautiful spring green scenery and that was my plan too until we got hit with 14 inches of snow where I live. So for a while, sorry but you guys are going to be stuck with me in my living room. I picked five outfits and I tried to make them all really different from each other and I also tried to film it in a way that I could show you how I layered it. I hope you enjoy this video and get some ideas for this upcoming spring. The first outfit is my all-time favorite, so I'll show it first. The bright neon colors make me so happy, like warm and fuzzy inside. I started with a navy tank top, a pair of capris, and a pair of short gray boots all from the buckle. I threw on another turquoise tank top because I always have to have at least two full shirts on at any given time. The fun part of the outfit comes with this plaid shirt by BKE. It's lightweight and perfect for spring. It has a chiffon back, which is unique enough and great for a standalone piece. Or if you like to layer, I've got the perfect piece to top it all off. This metallic yellow faux leather jacket gives this outfit that extra pop. What's cool about this jacket is it's got three different zippers, so you can wear it zipped up, unzipped, or you can adjust the two zippers on the side accordingly to add flaps to the jacket, or you can wear them zipped and held in place. For accessories, I chose a long brass key necklace. On my left arm, I've got a Betsy Johnson watch, a camera bracelet, a light pink bracelet, and a turquoise cross bracelet. On the right, I'm absolutely in love with this turquoise bracelet. This yellow bracelet is an inside joke between my brother and I, because he always asks me, Why are you jelly, bruh? <laughs> it gets me every time. The second outfit I've got is pretty simple. I threw on a pair of leggings, a black racerback tank top, an oversized sweater, and completed the look with a pair of cream boots to tie back in with my top. This top is from a new website I found called boohoo.com. I wanted a top with a skull on it for forever, but there were so many and I just couldn't decide on the perfect one until I laid eyes on this one. It's sheer black with cream embroidery on the front. I usually wear it hanging off both shoulders or hanging off just one shoulder for an even more laid back look. The boots are by a brand called Not Rated and I got them from the buckle. They've got brass studs all the way around and are tied in the back. This next outfit is my comfy day outfit. I would wear it to work, the mall, or just on a lunch date. I started out with a gray tank top, shorts from Billabong, and gray combat boots. Next I threw in a gray loose fitting v-neck for comfort and tucked in one side. To top off this outfit I chose an Aztec print cardigan with fringe detail which has a nice flowy eased fit. I decided to keep it real simple with a long necklace from Falling Whistles and a silver tungsten ring. Next up we've got my floral outfit. I've never been a huge fan of floral, but it's kind of growing on me, and the beautiful pastel colors got me. I started out with a purple loose fitting v-neck t-shirt and floral pants by a brand called Miss Me. The colors and details on this pair are just absolutely incredible. I rolled up the bottoms and paired it with sandals by a brand called Naughty Monkey from The Buckle. They have an asymmetrical detail with iridescent beads. My last layer to give my top half a little more contrast is a denim shirt with white lace detail on the back. No necklace this time, I just decided to do my buckle ring and some arm candy. I've got my favorite bracelet that says make the impossible possible, a Betsy Johnson watch, a friendship bracelet set, and this last bracelet you see here is by Fossil. This is my last and most simple of all the outfits I've showed you. This is a strapless navy and white striped maxi dress from Target. I added a white denim button up to break up the stripes just a tad bit. This look is really cute if you just tie the shirt at the bottom, button a few buttons to where you're still able to see the navy white striped pattern peek through. The best part about adding this extra piece is your dress could also pass for a maxi skirt at first glance. For shoes, I chose my most comfortable pair by Not Rated from the buckle. The last piece to complete my outfit is a silver key necklace by Fossil. That is it for my spring outfits video. I would love it if you would tell me which outfit you like best down in the comments and if you'd like to see more of these. If you want to see the outfits and pictures or a more detailed description of the outfits, I will link my blog down below that I started with my friend. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.